This is the Ghent University uh, Research Fellowship 2022 and it's in Ghent University in Belgium. So without further ado, let's look at what it entails. Deadline for this application deadline is 1st of October 2022. All right. The period is the research fellowship is for a period of one year. Call for application short stay research fellowship 2022. Call for application short stay research fellowship African platform of Ghent University Association. The African platform of Ghent University Association welcomes applicants from visiting fellows as one of the five regional platforms at Ghent University. GAP facilitates and foster academic collaboration between Ghent University Association and academic institutions in Africa. The Africa platform hosts five visiting research fellows every year. Our days will spend a minimum of two weeks at Ghent University or one of the associated university colleges. As just a brief introduction. Now, the fellowship now. So the African platform fellowships are aimed at researchers, junior or senior lecturers and professors who are affiliated with an African higher education or research institution the bilateral agreement of memorandum of understanding needs to be in place between the Ghent University and the African institution. With any question in this regard, please contact Annelise.Vadulij at uGent.be as Belgium. The fellowship consists of a grant of 1,000 1, euro, one return flight ticket for a minimum stay of two weeks, which is meant to cover travel accommodation costs and living expenses this means that the matching funding will need to be found in many cases the visiting scholar will be given an office space and access facilities such as the library as a Ghent university visiting scholar the fellowship can be taken at any time in 2023. Our days are expected to be present at Ghent University and take part in the academic activities of the research unit visiting fellows will give at least one lecturer or similar to fellow researchers and students. For this reason, our days are required to have excellent command of English or French. Five fellowships will be awarded in 2022. So as an applicant, you are expected to have a good command of English language or French language. Now, how to apply? Your application should be in English or French. There is a copy of application form here to be downloaded. And the documents needed to accompany this application are your personal information, your cover letter, in which you indicate the period of your visit, the research group you would like to be affiliated with, and the motivation as to how your current and future research at your home university will benefit from a research stay at Ghent. It's just like kind of a, a statement of purpose uh, for PhD, but this one now you're kind of writing how your research at Ghent, how it will benefit your home institution. That's just what this section is trying to explain. The third item is a research plan. Met a research plan which is which consists research objectives method and tools a work plan for the intensive visit possibly long-term cooperation plan etc a budget that is how you intend to spend your money and how you intend to to get the money a list of your three most important publications though it's optional but i will i will strongly recommend that if you have publication you should add it you say your signature and the signature of the Ghent university promoter this means that you should already have a Ghent University promoter at the application stage. If you do not present, if you do not have, if you do not at present have links with Ghent University, the online search directory can help you in search for a promoter. You also need to submit a short motivation statement by the Ghent University promoter. So this is like uh, seeking to get uh, his contact a supervisor at uh, Ghent University, like the way it, it usually happen with the cases of masters and a PhD whereby you contact a supervisor whom you're working with. So the same thing is also happening here that you need to do. You get, you contact a promoter, which is somebody from Ghent University who will be the promoter who will also uh, append a signatory to you alongside to the application that you will submit. Then the next item is a short CV, maximum two pages in annex to the application form. The application should be submitted by email to annels.vadulich 
Valdolige at ugens.be. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that well. It's not an English name. In one PDF file, not later than 1st of October 2022. Incomplete submission, incomplete or late submissions will not be considered. Each individual can only obtain one grant. So ensure your application should be submitted before the 1st of October 2022. Now, what are the criteria? The selection criteria and procedures. The candidate's profile, such as CV and scientific achievement, consists of 25%. Motivation, feasibility, and academic quality of the research is 25%. Why the added value and sustainability as the impact of your research stay on future departmental institutional collaboration is 50 percent now remember that you are going to gain for a research so you are not just going there for you are not going to gain for a vacation neither are you going there for for summer holidays so what will that research are you going to gain for what will it add to your home institution and gain on the long run what will it add to both your home institution which is your home university and Ghent university what will it add to both of them on the long run so that aspect consists of 50 percent of your application next say selection committee will with representatives from different faculties will review the applications Ghent university conducts an active policy for diversity and equal opportunities and encourages everybody to apply the selection committee will also strive for a balance in home institution in home institution from africa Ghent university faculties involve senior candidates and junior candidates as well as gender now what's the timeline earlier I mentioned this the timeline for this application closure date is 1st of october 2022 why the selection result will be out on 30th or 31st october 2022 why the mobility period is January to December 2023. Then reporting. So at the end of this day, the researcher is expected to submit a short activity report in writing or in video format to indicate the output of the research stay. Practical matters. The African, the African platform will assist our deeds with practical assignments such as insurance, visa, an application for housing at the university residences. Ghent University issues a visitor's pass to foreign visitors who spend or who spend a short stay, no more than 30 days, under the supervision of a Ghent University promoter. Each visitor pass. Each visitor's pass automatically grants access to the university sports center and the university and the student's restaurant. So this is a brief one from Ghent University in Belgium. Please try to put in your application as early as possible for you to be able to be an awardee or a recipient of this award. Thank you very much. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next one.